The first step is to take uh, sandpaper, emery paper, and we will abrade the surface, meaning clean the paint off and any other ma material on the surface that may hinder the adhesion of the glue. Right, the next step is to position the gauges on a clean surface and the, uh, the boxes are, are excellent choice, the strain gauge boxes. Don't, don't handle the strain gauge because your body oils can get on the gauge and hinder the adhesion. Cleanliness is very important in strain gauges because there's a very small area that depends. Now, you can attenuate the, the uh, stickiness of the tape with your fingers, like this right here. That way it reduces how hard it sticks to the gauge. You, you basically are only holding this gauge on there with the tape in a position, and that's all it needs to be done. It, it doesn't need to be strong at all. You put it on there like this, and, I, and as you can see on here, we have a gauge and a terminal strip. The terminal strip is very important, as you'll see as we proceed. Now, we pull this off at an oblique angle, like this right here, and we've got a position. Uh, we have a situation that's easy to position these now. Which way you want to go? You want to go like this or go like this? Either way. Either way? Yeah. Okay, since I've got it like this, we'll go like this now. Usually, you can put marks on the can or on whatever surface but you need to put the marks out here because if you put the marks close you'll clean the marks off and doesn't do any good. So well with the center of the gauge is the center of these little accordion type wires in there. We'll put the gauge right there and we'll stick it down and then we'll once again pull it up at an oblique angle just right here and we'll fold it back right about there. The next step is to apply this catalyst that speeds up the setting of the, of the glue. And that's this right here. And we want a very minimum amount, and usually you can do this about 10 times, and you have more than enough catalyst to get to it. And usually, if you just wipe it once, if you just go across here like this, like that right there, that's plenty. Let that set for one minute minimum. Actually, at this point, we make a comment about uh, the two sides of the string gauge. Oh. Very important to be aware of when sticking the tape to the string gauge. String gauges have connections on one side of the gauge. And you can see if you turn this gauge over, it's dull on the back. If you inadvertently glue it down like this, you can't access the terminals. So you have to take the gauge off and re-glue it on so the shiny side is up and you have easy access to the terminals right there. This is the embonded adhesive. It's, it's a form of super glue. And we're going to apply A healthy little bit right here and slide it over with my with my thumb will very carefully wipe the glue out with this and then I'll put my thumb over it and I'll hold my thumb on it for a minimum of one minute we'll pull the tape back we'll pull the tape back at an acute angle and we'll start back very carefully and we'll make sure that the gauge doesn't come up. You can watch the little, you can watch the corner of it. You just kind of pull it on the corner a little bit, and if you see the gauge start to come up, then put the tape back and put your finger on it for a longer period of time. And make sure that you pull the tape back acutely like this, otherwise you may pull the gauge up.